dear professional friends today in this video i am going to discuss about the various acl ats judgments national company law appellate tribunals judgments which were overturned by supreme court in 2019 it's a very interesting topic the supreme court annulled or cancelled or upheld certain decisions of ncl ats findings in 2019 which are very interesting in nature and uh, that is uh, that is why the purpose of this video though the national company law appellate tribunal ncl at passed several orders judgments in the insolvency and corporate matters in 2019 which include tata mystery feud sr steel jet airways jl and fs jp infratech and reliance communication cases several of them failed to pass the scrutiny of the supreme court where either set aside or modify many important cases have to be decided by ncalt during 2020 such as register of companies plea to modify the order passed by it in the tata mystery case in which it directed to change the status of the tata sons from private company to a public company the holding firm of usd 110 billion empire Recently NCL AT had up, as upheld the supremacy of section 32A of the IBC in Bushanton Power and Steel Plant Limited in which JSW has challenged attachment of assets by ED and NCL AT order reattachment of Bushanton Power assets in 2020 NCL AT has to decide in res- in, re- in resolution of IL and FS group which has an outstanding debt over 90000 crore in 2020 and in mcdonalds bakshi matter where state run hatco is opposing settlement offer by us based qsr major cases in which nclt orders have been reviewed by supreme court in 2019 sr steel ins- insolvency matter in this case nclt put all the operational creditors of the company almost at par with the secured financial creditors over the disbursement of funds so in this case ncalt did this it has uh, put the both the financial creditors and the operational creditors at the same length ncalt altered resolution plan voted by sr steel lenders and uh, approved by the nclt ahmedabad which was approved by the nclt ahmedabad and was challenged before the supreme court what supreme court told in this case in sr steel in insolvency case the apex court on november 15 2019 not only upheld the primacy of the financial creditors secured creditors in the distribution of the funds received under the corporate insolvency scheme but also ruled that the committee of creditors would have the final stay in the resolution plans under the insolvency and the bankruptcy court so only coc will have the power to decide so they are all, they are the final say they have the final say that was uh, this was held by sc in the sr steel case then amtec auto case in august 2019 the nclt ordered for the liquidation of auto component maker amtec auto declining the lenders plea for extension of the insolvency resolution process deadline however the supreme court stayed the Uh, ncl at's decision and directed the resolution professional rp to invite fresh bids for the auto component maker within 30 days danuka laboratories for archit pharma ncl at in the november 2019 rejected the bid of danuka laboratories for archit pharma and set aside the approval of the granted by the chennai bench of nclt the ncl at observed that the ab- approved resolution value which stood at rupees 1146 crores proposed by the danuka laboratories was lower than the liquidation value of 1309 crore of the company the this was challenged by the S- S- committee of creditors before the supreme court which granted a stay on the ncalt's order in december 2019 jp's infratech In July 2020 the NCL AT permitted the fresh bidding for the Littleton Jaipri Infratech 
and extended the resolution period for another 90 days. However, in November 2019, the Apex Court, Supreme Court, annulled the order of uh, NCLAT and uh, allowed only two revised resolution plans from NB NBCC India Limited and uh, Suraksha Realty for voting. The Apex Court had directed to complete the resolution process of the JP Infratech in 90 days. Law in Financial Services The NCLT order of January 2019 directing initiation of insolvency proceedings against the investment firm Law in Financial Services over the plea of IL and FS Financial Services had similar outcome at the uh, FX. NCLAT's order was set aside by the Supreme Court which held that IL and FS Financial Services plea was beyond the period of three years mentioned in the Article 137 of the Limitation Act and thus it is time barred and cannot be proceeded further. In Sterling Biotech case, in 2019, some of the NCLAT's orders are also raised eyebrows. The order in the case of Sterling Biotech was such a case. The appellate tribunal not only stayed the liquidation of the company, but also directed to hand over the management to its promoters, including upstanding Nitin Jaintilal, Sandasra, and uh, Chetan Kumar Jaintilal Skandasra. The NCLAT also said that the enforcement director will probe and ascertain whether the money paid by the upstanding promoters is not from the proceeds of crime. NCLT set aside the CAIT plea against CCI note to Flipkart's acquisition by Walmart. A two-member bench of the appellate tribunal said that CAIT failed to establish its allegations against the Competition Commission of India granting approval for the Walmart Flipkart deal. NCL, NCLAT also said Flipkart was not even made party by CAIT in its plea. We find no merit in it. Accordingly, the appeal is dismissed, said the NCLAT, upholding CCI note to the deal. What lessons learned from this? Conclusion, in many cases, what NCLAT's finding was was not approved by the uh, Supreme Court. In Supreme Court upheld the primacy of financial creditors in distribution of funds. SC held that COC would have the final say in the resolution plans under the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court where NCLT treat both financial and operational creditors alike. Secondly, the Supreme Court granted extension of insolvency resolution process deadline which was refused by NCLT. Supreme Court held that IL and FS financial services plea was beyond the period of three years mentioned in the Article 137 of the Limitation Act and thus is time barred and cannot be proceeded further. NCLAT permitted fresh bidding for the debt laden JP Infratech and extended the resolution period for another 90 days, whereas the Supreme Court annulled the order of the NCLAT and allowed only two revised resolution plans. Friends, I think this will be more informative for you. And if you enjoy this video, please like it, share it, and also please subscribe my channel so that whenever I issue new videos on various topics, it will reach you directly. Thanking you once again. This is R.V. Shekhar, Practicing Company Secretary.